Hello everyone. As usual, this is Kakuru Bernard presenting to you another example on Excel. So today we are looking at practical question two. We have a table of results that the table below shows examination results of senior four students. Here is a table students name class BOT out of twenty mid term out of 20, end of term out of 70, final mark. So the question is here. And so we are going to do this together. As usual, we shall begin with creating a folder where we shall save our work. This folder can be called practical question two. That's the name of our folder. So you open an Excel sheet and you type there your work. So open Excel, type there your work. Now after typing, they are telling us that enter the student's data above in a spreadsheet program, save it as performance hyphen today's date. So you can save it as in your folder save it as performance uh, today is uh, 5th July 2020 like that you save so after doing that when you look at this work here, this kind of layout, this is what we call wrapping text, where you find that one word is below the other, wrap text, and that's what we should begin with. So we are going to select our top row, then from here, we choose wrap text. So after choosing wrap text, we can bold our work. And then after bolding the headings, this, you reduce it a bit around that. Even this can be reduced around there. This can be reduced around there. And this, you can reduce it there. So this is what we call wrap text. But when you look at our question, this class is on top. So meaning that we shall have to align our headings top, like that, so that we have it in that format. And then it can also be centered, top centered. That is our work now. So after doing that, again, you can see here our BOT has a zero, BOT column has a zero before those values. So meaning that you have to highlight your column, you right click, go to format cells, under format cells you come and click number tab, then you click on custom, reaching custom click this zero, after clicking that zero, click on top here where there is a zero, add another one so that it is a two sample there. And then you click OK. So that's why these values now have a zero. Save changes. Next one, our question that determine the final score for every student by use of a formula. Final score. So you come here and say equal signs this plus this plus this. That is a formula. You can put these in brackets or else you can leave them like that. Press enter. So this is the final score for each student. Save changes. Next, determine the student's position in a new column 
basing on their final marks that we determine students position position so here meaning that we shall use a function called rank so we say equal sign is rank you open brackets and use final mark that is f2 comma then select again from f2 downwards to f 10 comma then we use the order 0 which is descending meaning that whoever has highest the highest mark will be the first one in the rank so use order 0 cross the brackets then highlight the range f2 to f10 in your function and make it absolute by pressing f4 function f4 on your keyboard like that press enter so here we have determined position save changes next on our instruction calculate the square root of Reham's total mark in cell F12 that we calculate the square root of Reham's total mark in cell F12 so click in F12 around there so we say equal signs S2 RT square root Rehema is here Rehema po then you click that you close brackets enter so that is the square root of Rehema's total mark so here we can say S2 RT Rehema something like that next is to add a column called grade and use the final column the final mark column to assign grade as follows from 80 to 100 assign a 70 to 79 assign b 60 to 69 assign c 50 to 59 assign d 40 to 49 assign E 0 to 39 assign F that we shall use an if function so here we have grade so from here we can say equal signs if open brackets final mark is greater equal to 80 comma assign a comma if open brackets final mark is greater equal to if final mark is greater equal to 70 assign b greater equal to 70 comma b in quotes comma if open brackets final mark is greater equal to if final mark is greater equal to 60 C greater equal to 60 comma open quotes C close quotes comma if open brackets final mark is greater equal to uh, what else greater equal to 50 D is greater equal to 50 comma open quotes d close quotes comma if open brackets final mark greater equal to 40 greater equal to 40 comma open quotes e close quotes 
otherwise the if is ending otherwise f cross quotes cross brackets we are going to use how many brackets one two three four five we are going to use five brackets in closing one two three four five each bracket represents the one you opened or how many ifs have you used that's what it means you press enter and then you autofill your column save changes next is to insert a green thick border with blue grids inside around your work so we are going to highlight our work we right click format cells we now click the border tab color green thick outline color blue grid inside click ok save changes next one our instruction is insert a header students performance and a footer of your names and center them insert a header students performance so we go to insert header and footer so in the center section here this is left center right so in the center section student students performance students performance so after writing a header then they need a footer of our names so in this footer we can i mean in this header we can click go to footer write your names kakul bernard then go back to header and click in your work next on our instruction is to copy and paste your work on sheet 3 so here we can select all Control a we copy right click copy or click copy there then click sheet 2 click the paste icon save changes after pasting this work on page 3 write your names below the work on sheet 3 write your names below the work on sheet 3 so here we can put our names Kakur Bernard that's what they wanted write your names below the work on sheet 3 then J select the names EOT and final mark columns to form a column graph and save it as my graph that we select names EOT final mark select names EOT hold down control and select EOT column hold down control and select final mark then we go to insert column choose that first graph then move chart or oh, right click here right click there or oh, right click on your graph and say move chart here write my graph then you click ok so the chart should have appropriate titles meaning that we shall go to layout chart title above chart so we say column graph can say a graph showing EOT, EOT and final mark EOT and final marks against names press enter 
is there. Then after we put the X and Y axes, so axis titles, primary horizontal, title bro axis, which is here. Simply start typing, names, press enter, it appears there. Then again axis titles, primary vertical, vertical title, max, it is here, press enter, it appears there. Save changes. Then convert the EOT max into a line graph. Convert the EOT max into a line graph. So here, when you look at our key here, EOT is blue, final mark is red. So click on one of the blue bars, any of the blue bars, click there, right click there, go to change series chart type change series chart type then you click line graph line click ok save changes so EOT max have been converted into a line graph save changes next on our instruction save changes and print your work so here you have work on sheet 1 it means that you will click file print and then here is your work on sheet one with grids you print then you go back home tab click on on my graph click file print this is your graph will be printed save close your work so that marks the end of our work thanks for watching please subscribe to my youtube